Hey everyone, how's it going? This is Austin Miller. I am the founder of PagerTree and I am super excited to be here today with you. We're going to be talking uh, about Prometheus and how to set up a Prometheus stack on Docker using DigitalOcean. So this is going to be really awesome. It'll give us an opportunity to learn what Prometheus can offer, what the Alert Manager can offer, and how it integrates seamlessly into PagerTree. So uh, let's go ahead and dive right into it. So we're going to assume a couple things uh, in this, and that's that we can create a Ubuntu 16.04 uh, server. Uh, for these kinds of tutorials, I like using DigitalOcean. Uh, it's really easy to set up a, a machine, and you can throw them away, and they're real inexpensive. Um, if you don't have an account with them, uh, you can use the link provided and get $10 in credits, which basically means you can run this for free. Um, if you already have an account, we'll go ahead and just get started. So let me show you how to do that. So from within DigitalOcean, um, we'll go ahead and create a droplet. So for this tutorial, um, we're going to use the Ubuntu. We'll hit this one-click app of Docker, and then we want to, we can get away with the smallest standard size. I will select San Francisco since it's closer to me, but for performance reasons, click whatever it's closest to you. Uh, the next thing uh, you'll want is to select an SSH key. So an SSH key is basically a secure way to log into this machine. Um, and we'll be using it in our next step. So what I'll do here, uh, I'm using PuTTY. So since I'm on Windows, I need some sort of SSH client so I can log into this box. Um, I actually have a DigitalOcean set up already, a profile, so I'll load that. Um, but I'll go over the important pieces for you. So the important piece is that under this connection data, there's an auto login username as root. Uh, so that's who we're going to log in as. And the other thing is under this SSH auth section, we point it to the private key file for authentication. Um, so if you don't know about the SSH or the private key files, there's actually a link in the tutorial uh, sending you to another article, which is only like three steps on how to set this up. It's really easy, so don't feel flustered or frustrated if you don't know what these things are. It's real simple. So we'll go back up here, and what we need to do is copy this IP address um, and paste that here. And we'll go ahead and click Open. And this is OK, so we'll hit Yes. And so awesome. So the first step is already done. We were able to create a box, Ubuntu 16.04, and successfully log into it. That's like half the battle right there. So awesome. So the next thing is we want to run some commands. So this command that we've provided here is basically like a one-click install kind of thing. Um, and what it's going to do, it's going to download a bunch of software that we need. It's basically the Prometheus stack. It's going to run some sort of um, setup commands to set it all up, and then it's going to start it up for us. Um, if you were unaware of what I just did there, I just copied and pasted it. And if you're using PuTTY like me, um, pasting can be done via the right click button of your mouse, or you could also do shift insert. So. We can see here that it's creating a couple services, so like um, Prometheus, Alert Manager, uh, Grafana. Um, so we're going to give this some time to set up. Um, and while this sets up, I will pause the video. Awesome. So it came up about, I don't know, 15 seconds later. Um, but we can see now, you can now access your Grafana dashboard at this URL. So I'll go ahead and copy that. Um, but we want not to copy it in here, we want to put it in our browser. So, awesome. So if you're wondering what Grafana is, um, and you're like, well, I was here for a Prometheus tutorial, that's okay. Grafana is just the dashboard that's going to show us nice metrics on what Prometheus is actually collecting. So, um, so we'll go ahead and use this username and password that's in the tutorial. And we'll hit login. So the first thing we need to do is add a data source. Um, so we provided some things here, um, like the name, some of the parameters. Um, and you want to set that to type Prometheus. The URL, make sure you get this exactly how it is here in the tutorial page. 
Um, and then once you've done that, click Add, and it looks like the data source is working. Awesome. So at this point, um, we can look here, and if we go to Dashboards, um, and we click this home bar, we can see we have two dashboards. One is HTTP ping, and the other is system monitoring. The ping dashboard is pretty cool. It just monitors some websites, so like PagerTree, Prometheus, and Google. And the system monitoring is like a typical, you could say, task manager. It's just monitoring uh, the metrics of this box. So we can see like high CPU load, um, how much free RAM there is, and it's all about uh, the box you created on DigitalOcean. That's where these metrics are coming from. Okay, so this is all fine and dandy, and these dashboards are really cool. But it's not cool if you're having to like watch paint dry and see what's happening. The real power of Prometheus is when you can get an alert. Um, so whenever you start to manage at scale uh, is when you really need to have automated alerts. Um, and those automated alerts is really, really where Prometheus shines. Um, and it actually uses a, a tool called Alert Manager, and that Alert Manager hooks up very nicely into PagerTree so we can work with on-call rotating schedules. Um, so in order to do that, we need to go ahead and uh, do a little bit more configuration. So the first thing we'll do, um, we'll go to our PagerTree dashboard. Um, so here on the Dashboards page, um, we want to select the team that we want to be a part of, so the demo team um, is good for this one. So something to note, uh, just make sure in whatever team you're doing it, you're the one that's currently on call so no one else gets buzzed um, for this test notification you're doing for the demo. Uh, the other thing to note is make sure you have some sort of um, notification channel set up as well. So for me, I currently have Slack. Uh, you just want to make sure that you have some way to get notified. And the last thing is just, um, so you can see the full life cycle easily, um, go ahead and set up the escalation rules so that it's five minutes for that first layer. Okay, now that we've got that, uh, we'll go to the integrations, and we'll just create a new integration, and we'll just call this Prometheus uh, Stack Example, example, if I can type. Uh, and then we'll say it's type Prometheus um, and then go ahead and click this notify from users on events. Um, basically that'll notify you if it gets auto resolved by Prometheus itself or if the incident is uh, dropped. So we'll hit create and it created a Prometheus stack example right here. Um, so we'll come right back to this. So the next thing we want to do um, we're just following the tutorial here. Um, we want to copy this command. So we'll copy this and we'll paste it in our terminal. But what we want to do is we want to replace that your pager tree URL and come back and copy that newly created integration URL and then we'll paste it right after there. Um, and so what we will do is we'll paste it, we'll hit enter, and so that should now be configured. The next thing we want to do is we want to restart all of our services. So we'll, we'll come back and grab that command and we'll paste that in here. So this is just going to restart everything. So it looks like it's just shutting everything down and starting it back up. Um, so let's see here. And sometimes this command doesn't exactly work because it takes more time. Um, if it doesn't, just uh, hit the command again to restart and everything should be all good. Um, so it looks like everything came back up correctly. Um, we can try to reload our Grafana page and everything should be good. Okay, cool. So now we've configured PagerTree, Alert Manager, um, and now all we need to do is simulate some sort of alert worthy incident. Uh, so there's actually a utility script for that and it's called high load. So we will go back to our terminal, we'll run this again and what this is going to do is it's going to download uh, another Docker image. Basically it just spins your machine so that it's working really hard and it simulates some sort of high load on your box. Um, and if we go back to the Grafana page, 
we'll soon notice um, that uh, the CPU load seemingly becomes high. Um, what should happen is that after 30 seconds of the CPU load being high, it will send an alert and then Alert Manager aggregates those alerts and then whenever it finds that, hey, I've, I've aggregated over enough time, I'm going to go ahead and send that out to PagerTree and PagerTree will then notify us. So since it takes a little bit of time, I'm going to go ahead and pause the video here and whenever we're about to get the alert, I'll start it back up. So we're back here and um, what we'll start to notice is that here any moment we'll have an alert come in that is basically saying that our load on our box is really high. And that's exactly what we want it to do. So here you can see the CPU load is, you know, 94%. And look at that. I just got a Slack notification. It says uh, incident 1599 high load. So what I'll go ahead and do, I'll go ahead and kill this busy box. Um, but if we go back to pager tree, what we'll see here is that um, if we go to incidents, um, you'll notice that here, uh, this was the incident that was just created. It lets me know I was notified on Slack. I can go ahead and acknowledge this. Um, and so this is really the true beauty of, I'm just getting notifications that it was acknowledged. But the true beauty of Prometheus is that we're able to get alerted uh, when things are getting out of hand or something is wrong in our system. And the nice thing about uh, integrating it with a tool like PagerTree is the fact that you don't always have to have just one person monitoring that. That you can have an on-call schedule so you can have several shifts of people that handle that depending on your team, depending on the week, um, and so it makes it really easy. You can also get notified via Slack, SMS, get a phone call. It makes it really powerful tool for DevOps, for uh, system administrators. Uh, it just makes it uh, a really cool tool, especially when bundled with the graphs, uh, notifications, all that sort of stuff. So I hope you've been able to learn a little bit in this tutorial, see what Prometheus, uh, Grafana, PagerTree can offer you. Um, if you like this tutorial, uh, feel free to like it here on YouTube. Um, you can always sign up for a free PagerTree account. Uh, we have a 14-day free trial. Uh, so I really hope you've liked this, and I hope you have a good day.